good afternoon. Before I uh, answer any of your questions, I would just like to start off and uh, first of all, uh, our thoughts, our prayers, uh, everything is with Coach Jerry Kill. Uh, Jerry's been a long, long time friend of mine, a great friend, great coach, a great person. Uh, know a lot of those individuals on the staff on a personal basis. And, uh, you know, Jerry Kill is one of the first, most first class individuals that we have in our profession. So uh, thinking about him today and, and his staff, and I know he's a competitor and a fighter and, and he'll be fine. But uh, just wanted to let him know that uh, from Knoxville here, our, our uh, thoughts and prayers are with him and also the coaching staff as well. So I know I'll be asked right away, I'm gonna save Dustin the question from an injury front. See, we're starting to get on the same page, okay? Uh, Stephen Griffin is out. Uh, Brett Kendrick uh, will be out. We anticipate Brett uh, with the possibilities of being back next week. Uh, Preston Williams will know a little bit more uh, as the week progresses. He is supposed to be out at practice today. Uh, so we'll see how, how uh, practice goes for him. So I'll answer any other questions. Assuming that means Chance Hall at um, right tackle and then at right guard, do you know anything about Ja'Shawn? Is, is he going to be ready to go on Saturday? We'll know more today as well. Uh, he had class yesterday, uh, had a couple exams, so we'll know more, but we fully anticipate him being ready to go as well. I know what we want to do, yes. I'll tell you on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday morning. Um, <laughs> would you talk a little bit about why you were so effective offensively against Kentucky last year? Well, we were able to have a great, uh, great balance. I thought our wide receivers made plays uh, first and foremost. We were able to catch and advance the football. Uh, I thought Josh did a good job of managing the game. We were able to get him involved in the run game. Obviously, Jalen involved in the run game. Uh, you know, we created a turnover uh, for momentum and scored seven points off of that. Uh, but that was last year. Uh, both teams are completely different. Uh, you know, this is a very, very talented football team. I think their team has gone through a lot of the growing pain, so to speak, that we have gone through losing some, some close games at home and being in positions to win some games. Uh, but they're very, very good defensively. Uh, really, really good in the back end. Very stout up front. Love their linebackers. Very active. Can run sideline to sideline. And we all know about their offense and how explosive they are. Uh, obviously, Patrick Tolles. We spoke about him on Monday. Uh, great skill around him. Uh, running backs are playing well. Big old line. So it's going to be a, a challenge for us and being in an SEC environment. Uh, makes it even that much more. But I know our players are looking forward to it as well and the opportunity to compete again. Uh, talk about the offensive line. Just how well was this group prepared for the amount of uh, shifting you guys have had to do. I mean, you had a lot of returning starters, but you've had to move around a lot. It seems like the guys have handled it pretty well. They've handled it exceptionally well, and that's kind of been the focus. That's kind of been our philosophy since day one is really trying to get individuals to see can they play, you know, multiple positions. And the players embraced it. Um, they've done a great job with it, and I think it really shows, uh, you know, with all the injuries and all the moving parts and pieces, particularly that position group, our players have done a great job of handling it. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. They have high expectations of themselves. Uh, so I think that entire group has done a great job with that because it has been some challenging situations. Coach, looking at the film, what did Dak Prescott do so well for Mississippi State against Kentucky, and how can that translate to what Josh does? Dak's a great player. He's one of the best quarterbacks in all the country. Uh, he was able to complete the passes, deep balls, intermediate throws, short throws, uh, ability to make plays with his legs, whether it was scrambles or designed quarterback runs, and manage the offense and not turn the football over. And he has good players around him, but you know, Dak did a good job of really playing a complete game. 
Uh, Coach, will Justin Martin start opposite Cam Sutton on Saturday? As of right now, yes. Uh, he is starting right now. And, you know, everything is about competition. And, you know, both Emmanuel and Justin had good days of practice yesterday. And we need them all. Again, you know, starting is just, we say it all the time, who takes the first rep. Uh, but right now, Justin was running with the first team defense yesterday. But Josh has had two pretty good games against Kentucky. And what do you remember about those games and why do you think he's been able to be so effective against them? Just playing his style of play, you know, being effective, throwing the football, running the football, putting us in the right situations and being smart with the football. That's first and foremost is just being smart with the football. And he's been able to do that. And we're going to need that Saturday night. Uh, we're going to need that big time. Butch, what did you see from your team yesterday out on the practice field? It looked like the mood wasn't the same as Tuesday of last week. And how can you make sure those guys uh, kind of recharge their batteries before going on the road this Saturday? Well, first of all, quantify the mood difference. We had one of our better Tuesday practices. I thought we were energetic. Um, yes, you know, everything in football isn't just rah rods. You know, we start off, we start off what you guys see is a walkthrough. So what you guys see is pre-practice. You don't see the guts of practice. Uh, I thought we had one of our better practice days. I thought our players came with a mindset. So, you know, you're basing it off of what, 12, 15 minutes of pre-practice stuff. So, but I thought we had a, uh, energetic practice I thought our players did some really good things they understand the standards and expectations so I thought uh, walking off the practice field and watching the video last night and this morning I thought we had a very good day you've had a couple games this year with teams that had long streaks against with Georgia and Florida now you're playing Kentucky where y'all have a history of a lot of success against them does that come up at all when y'all are talking about just to guard against overlooking things, or how much do you bring that up at all? No, it's all about focusing on the opponent, and this is a new year, and this is a new football team, and they're a new football team, and, you know, we can't get ourselves focusing on the past and all that. They're a good football team. we got to focus on the task at hand, and that's the most important. Butch, how has George Bullock performed in practice, and would you be confident in him if called upon? Uh, George has done some good things in practice. I think the big thing, uh, not only for him, but our entire special is just consistency and performance each and every day. That's the big thing. Uh, but George has done some good things. But, you know, we have a lot of confidence in Aaron, and we have confidence in George if he's in there as well. And George shows up and he works every day, works his craft. But I think just overall from a specialist group, it's just consistency and performance day in and day out, kick in and kick out. I don't know if we've asked this. What is Stephen Griffin's injury? What's, is is this something you've been doing all year? Yeah, it's something he's been battling all year. Uh, he sprained his ankle and then, to his credit, really worked his way back and worked very hard and was doing some good things and then was set back with the same ankle. But he's making progress, but he's not ready to perform at a high level right now against Kentucky. But we anticipate you know, him being – probable for South Carolina, uh, but to his credit, he's working very hard to get himself back. Uh, back to the kitchen, kicking situation, Butch, what have you seen out of, out of Aaron this week in terms of both his mental and physical response? You know, John, I've been watching for that. Um, he's been very, very consistent. He has not missed one kick in practice. Uh, he is very, very locked in. Uh, you can see he's very intense, uh, and he went back and he studied all his video and looked and, you know, the, the, the short range kicks haven't been the problem. It's been the long range kicks. And it's like, I've been told like a golfer, you know, you get up there and you overswing and now all of a sudden you lose your accuracy. Well, it's the same thing as a kicker. And he's been trying to overswing his, uh, stride has been lengthened, uh, with, with uh, deeper kicks, so we've really tried to go back that to that, redefine the fundamentals. Uh, but I see a very determined individual, which I knew I would, because he's very resilient, and uh, he's had a very good week. 
And then Kyle Phillips, I think he's dressed the past couple of games, but maybe not played. Do you expect yeah. to have him available or, or hope to get him in this week? Yeah, we uh, we really hope to get him some some valuable repetitions in the game. We're going to need him in moving forward, and he's to the point now where he's built up the strength in his in his shoulder. He's been available, but we just didn't want to chance anything. But he's done a great job of, of rehabbing it, and so we anticipate him playing Saturday night. Coach, you mentioned Evan Berry possibly pushing for playing time at safety, but he is leading the nation right now in kickoff return average, possibly a first-team All-American. Where does he rank among the best kick returners you've had your entire coaching career? Well, first of all, uh, you know, back at Central Michigan, I want to say our last year we led the country in punt returns. Uh, and I want to say we were 22 or 23 yards of punt return. And obviously we had Antonio Brown and that makes things a little bit easier. But I see the same dynamics in terms of when we had Antonio and at Cincinnati, we made a decision at the end of the year to put Isaiah Pede back there to return punts. And all of a sudden, everyone on our team came to us and wanted to be on that unit. And it was the same thing with Antonio Brown. Everybody wanted to have the opportunity to block for him. It's the same thing here. Uh, our players take great pride in our kickoff return. Kentucky has a very good kick coverage team, so it's going to be a challenge. But they accept their role, they embrace their role, and they want to block for him. And I think that speaks volumes. Uh, Evan takes his role and his job very, very seriously. He works his craft every day. Um, he studies himself. And a lot of times with being a, a, a kick returner, it's a knack, it's a feel. Uh, you have to have great instincts to be able to do that. And Evan's able to do that. And we all know he has very, very good speed that if we get him in the open field, he can take it the distance. But he takes great pride in his performance. And I think, you know, the other 10 individuals around him uh, have really embraced their role as well and want to do well. And it's, it's a unit thing. But uh, Evan brings another dynamic to the table. Butch, Butch, as a follow-up to that, would he's not brought a kick out of the end zone this year. I don't even think he's caught a kick in the end zone this year. Yeah. Would you give him more freedom to maybe bring one out of the end zone and, and, and take a chance there as opposed to just taking a, a touchback? Yeah, it's based on where the location of the kick is. Uh, you know, how deep is it? Is it? You usually use the markings of the end zone as kind of a – a guide for them uh, to make that determination, but we would. Uh, there was one kick last week we would have liked for him to bring it out, but also we've coached him if you have any doubt and you're going back. The other thing, the, the key to being a great kickoff returner, and I've spoke about it a couple times, is the ability to steal five yards. You want to have the ability to catch the ball moving forward. If you watch, a lot of individuals will catch the ball on their shoulders or their, their feet. They step backwards. And so you actually lose time. You lose yardage. What Evan has been able to do is really work on stealing the first five yards of having his shoulders north and south and being able to hit it full stride. A lot of times when the ball is kicked deep in the end zone, you don't have that luxury as well to hit it full speed. 